Scotland. One camper, five days, beautiful mountain landscape, and castles. Lots of castles. Scotland is basically one big beautiful history lesson. And the banter of being in a camper means that you can experience this history. Even with a cup of tea at 9pm. With a big beautiful ancient castle in the backdrop. And then you wake in Sky the next morning, swapping the tea for coffee, getting you ready for a mammoth hike deep in the beauty of Scotland. Let me make sure I'm not yet, yeah, and then we're going to come in and up into Scotland. For us, our favourite part of hiking in Scotland is being alone and seeing no one for hours on end. However, all around you, you have free flowing rivers and abundant wildlife. We are going here. There's Coolant, which is there. Whichever hike you choose, you'll be amazed by the scenery lying in front of you but we can guarantee you it will only get better and better the higher you get. What we loved about our bunk camper was the freedom it gave us, from chasing the sunset down the mountain to catching the sunrise with the locals on the way to our next adventure. And after a Scottish fry up, we're ready to see the old man of store. And it's time to hit the road again, but first stop is a farm for some fresh local produce. It's obvious the Scottish landscape is breathtaking, but the real magic of Scotland lies with our people. And if experience in breathtaking roads with great friends is your kind of thing, hiring a camper in Scotland is a must do for you. The next stop after Arlapool is Loch Ness. And a chance to experience a real Scottish pub. And if you're willing to leave the warm cozy fire, you might get a chance to see Nessie herself. Or some sheep. No visit to Scotland is complete without a trip to a whiskey distillery. For us, it was tomato. Be sure to get a tour around the distillery to really understand the level of passion and craftsmanship that goes into each and every cask. It really is worth learning all of this. And the chances are somewhere along the road you'll be sharing stories over a wee dram with a friendly local. And with our third designated driver behind the wheel, we're back on the road and this time carving our way through the Cairngorm Mountains. And then it's time for us to bid farewell to Scotland, to the Highland Coos, the temperamental and beautiful Scottish weather. And by the end of the trip, you come to realise that Scotland really does offer it all. <laughs>